Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday, May the 7th. Can you see this amazing dragon? I love the dragons. They've been showing up a lot lately to come around and help us. So this dragon is the Ace of Air. Pretty exquisite, isn't he? I just wanted y'all to get a really good look at this beautiful dragon. And he has a lot of meaning. So, excuse my look, guys. We're on a rush day today. It's a very busy day for me today. So, I thought I would go ahead and do this before it ended up getting way too late and I couldn't do it at all. Hey, Becky, how are you, honey? We've missed you. So the Ace of Air. So his key phrases are about a new personal ideology, unlearned and let go, fact and genuine knowledge, honor personal truths, know your mind. Reality is first conceived in the mind. Make your own world, don't you? You make your own reality. Be excited and motivated. Our old beliefs sabotaging future goals. So basically, our lovely dragon here symbolizes a new way of thinking. Yeah. It suggests that it's now time to let go of an old, outdated belief and ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new and independently formed personal ideology. What you think about that? I know a lot of us are ready for this. We're doing it. We just haven't stepped up to do it. I like my dragon. I want to keep showing you how awesome he is. And he's holding on to that new idea. That new way of thinking. Really holding on to it for you. It is time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opinions born of social conditioning, inaccuracy, and false assumptions, and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact, and genuine knowledge. It's also a time to recognize both for what they are and learn to differentiate, differentiate between the two. And that's not always easy. It's a lot of time within yourself, a lot of talking with your guides, with your spirit, with your God self. And finding out what's right for you. And when is it time to move forward for you. So it's saying, this is saying now, uh, this is not time for you to know. It's time to honor personal truths and have foundations in your own experiences. Instead of embracing the truths of others and making them your own. So you always know what's right for you. You ignore it. It's easy to ignore but each time you ignore it, it comes back and bites you somehow. And so then you go back around to, oh, well, I knew that all along. To do otherwise is to wear an ill-fitting pair of shoes borrowed or stolen from another. While they may protect your feet, they also pinch and rub and over time can do more harm than good. It's time to realize that to travel well and to go the distance, you need a pair of shoes that fit well. Because they are made specifically for you. Now that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So this is the same for your personal ideology. Your life experience will offer lessons that impact both practical knowledge and wisdom. So right now you're being offered the opportunity to embrace new paradigms and patterns. To replace those that limit and restrict you. <laughs> and you can change your mind in doing so. Change the way you make choices that determine your direction, shape your reality. So cut away the clouds of judgment and perception and that prevents you from knowing your own true mind. Clarity will come with peeling away the layers of imposed dogma and beliefs born of past disappointment and hurts. 
is what I like to say always is like peeling away the layers of the onion one by one by one. We seem to do that all the time. A severe also symbolizes a time of feeling motivated and excited by the ideas in your head, your goals and dreams, because they are yours. It's time to take them and make them more. This marks the beginning of the individualization process we must all go through in order to realize our fullest potential. So are you ready? You have some old beliefs that are sabotaging you? Let's get rid of them. Find out what's truly you. Yay, talk to the dragon. You know, they used to say, talk to the hand. I'm saying, talk to the dragon. The ace of air. He's here to help. Not push you away, but pull you in. How's that? Love you all. See you tomorrow. Thanks for being with me in my whatever self. <laughs>